Angles in circle. Central angle is an angle between two radii in a circle. An arc is a portion of a circle's circumference between two points. This red part is an arc. This arc can be named AD or DA. The order doesn't matter. An arc's mayor is a mayor of its central angle. So the mayor of this arc over here is 45 degree. The smaller arc on a circle is called minor arc and the bigger arc, that one in blue, is a major arc. To name a major arc, you have to consider one more point on a circle, like this point M. And then you can say that this major arc is AMD. If the major arc measures 200 degrees, what is the measure of the minor arc? A complete circle is 360 degrees, so we can subtract 200 from 360 to get the value of the minor arc. Inscribed angle. Suppose we have an arc AD. This is our central angle. And this is an inscribed angle for arc AD. An inscribed angle has a vertex on the circumference. Where the two chords intersect, we have an inscribed angle. We are not changing the length of the arc. For this arc, if the central angle is 110, then the inscribed angle must be half of the central angle. This is very important and very interesting. Now let's change the position of this point K. The arc would remain the same. Now we can see that whatever point we take, the inscribed angle for this arc is half of the central angle. So we can say, for any arc, every inscribed angle is exactly half of the central angle. An arc measures 200 degrees. What's the measure of inscribed angle for this arc? That's 100. Question can be given like this. Here we have to figure out central angle and that should be double of the inscribed angle. Double of 50 is 100. It's 100. Inscribed angle on the diameter. An inscribed angle drawn to circle's diameter is always a right angle. And you can see that this diameter has an arc that measures 180 degrees. The central angle is now 180 degrees. So half of 180 is 90 degrees. So whatever point you take, the angle would be 90 degrees. This question is very favorite of examiners. Whichever exam you are preparing, this question is very important. We know it that inscribed angle is 90 degree. We know the value of another angle that is 45 degree. And now we can subtract the sum of these two angles from 180 degree. Because sum of all angles inside triangle is 180 degrees. Angle X is 45 degrees. Now let's create a question based on these concepts. Can you figure out the radius of a circle if you know the length of this chord is 12 and the length of another chord is 16? Now we know that this is a right angle triangle. We know the length of two sides and we have to calculate the hypotenuse of the triangle from the Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse is the diameter and for radius, we'll divide the diameter by 2. Arc length. The complete boundary of a circle is 2 pi r. If you have to find the length of arc AB, this is half of a circle. If a complete circle is 2 pi r, we can divide it by 2 to get the length of half of a circle. That is pi r. 
This arc measures 180 degree and 180 degree is half of 360 degree. If you divide the angle of the arc with the total angle around the circle, then you will get the ratio of that arc with the complete circumference. If central angle is 90 degree, then arc's length is 90 over 360 of 2 pi r. This fraction tells us that how much of the circle this arc represents. From this information, we have a general formula. Arc's length is equal to theta divided by 360 into 2 pi r. Theta is a measure of arc, central angle. Sector area. Same concept is applied to sector area. Sector area is area between two radii. If a complete area of a circle is pi r square, then what's the area for this sector? This sector is half of a circle, half of pi r square, and this half is a ratio of sector's angle 180 with the circle's complete rotation 360. From this, we can derive a general formula for sector area. It is similar to the previous formula, but now we have pi r square over here. The formula says that sector is what part of that complete area. If you have taken up the lectures of fractions and ratios, this concept won't seem difficult to you.